Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight, I'm going to be going through the Forgotten Tapes Analog Nightmares. Uh, this is in um, uh, a collection of nine games, uh, all centered around the themes of analog horror. Uh, they do this in different ways. Uh, I just finished playing through all nine of them. Um, so I'm going to throw you over to past Andrew and past Andrew will guide you through them. I'm not sure how many are going to be in each video. Um, so I'm going to cut those up and edit them. Uh, and then they will come out basically, uh, probably three or four videos until I'm done with them. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and yeah. All right. Where were we? We did consume. Fun House of Blood. Where is this? Fun House of Blood. Old documentary footage that was lost shortly after it was broadcasted. In the late 70s, it's found and harbors a dark secret. Uh, hello? Okay, we're in. I'm in. May 15th, 1976, the Harkinfield police raided the Blue Fair Circus Town after a string of missing persons report. What they found shocked the community. Harkinfield police raided the Blue Fair Circus Town. Can't go this way. This way is too dark. I think that's just a wall. These tunnels under the circus are more like catacombs. The rabbit's warrens. Is that just flavor? It's a painting of a smiling wolf. It has a heart above its head. I don't like it. There's another balloon over here. Over 24 bodies were found mutilated, with another seven missing persons not found. They remain unfound as of 1979. The killer, John Doe, wore a clown-styled rabbit outfit and worked at the circus, luring the victims inside the funhouse. Is that him over there? Oh, you guys can barely see him. Uh, let me out. The back button is a little bit finicky here. And again, there is no run. Bunch of junk. Shame there's nothing cool to take home. Nothing there. Are we like an urban explorer or what's going on? He was found by Officer James Morden and was shot and killed, yet his body was somehow never recovered. He remains missing as of 1979. The Blue Fair Circus Town has become popular for crime enthusiasts and for urban explorers. However, not all of... of not all have come back from their explorations. I, I'm assuming that this is supposed to be have. Oh, I'm in the way. Let's try there. Uh, however, not all have come back from their explorations. Harkinfield police have warned people against exploring the circus. Uh, I don't think there's anything stopping me from jumping down there. Those who explore the circus claim to see the bunny-suited man from afar trying to lure them. Five people have gone missing between 1977 and 1979. It is unknown if they will ever be found alive or even dead. Harkinfield police have refused to do anything about the circus. Now, after that note, it would have been really cool if the bunny man was, like, peeking at us, like, uh, from this, these bars here, or something like that.
Yep, you can just jump down there. Photography by Sam Morrison, 21, the fourth missing victim, April 1978. Video recorded by Gordon Clark, 25, and the fifth missing victim, October 1978. It's a birthday party, darling. It's your birthday party. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, then. Uh, that one was very short. Um... Yeah, it's it's too short to really criticize. It was kind of like very straightforward, not a whole lot of like uh things that I would do to improve. Um if you wanted to like flesh it out a little bit, you could have like different sections where like the bunny man was peeking at you from around the corner or through bars or things like that. It's apparently part of the lore that the bunny man lures you into the the circus. Um so you could have like one ending where as soon as you see the bunny man, you run out of the, the circus and then another ending where like, uh, you follow the bunny man, like the white rabbit down the rabbit hole, um, further and further until there's no going back. Um, and I think that that would be really cool to like, uh, explore. Well, what are people's like, um, what are their, their hard limits, right? Uh, so you go through, you're like, there's these missing people. And then they go down a, a step further. Maybe you've got like nine circles, like the nine circles of hell. Uh, so you go down one circle. Uh, and it's, uh, there were 29 missing children at the circus. And the police discovered something. You go down, it's like all these, these children and young adults were murdered. Uh, you go down a little bit further. It's like uh, their bodies were missing parts. Maybe there was cannibalism. You go down a little bit further. Uh, and each time, like, uh, there's a chance to turn back. There's a chance to get uh, out of the, the circus. Don't learn anything more. Just turn around and leave. Uh, but there's also that drive to keep going because of the bunny man. Um, and because you want to learn more about the knowledge, because you want to experience the game. Uh, I think that that might be, like, an interesting idea. Uh, but this game was perfectly fine the way it was. All right. What else do we have? Garrison broadcast by Vitus. Uh, there is no world. There is no one out there for you. TV screen is Garrison. Don't go outside. Never go outside. Encoding overloaded. Vitus likes a lot of shiny, um, shiny stuff in their game. So, uh, full screen. Eat, interact, uh, escape to menu. There's no world. There's no one out there for you. TV screen is garrison. Don't go outside. Never go outside. Is this our bed? What a crappy bed. Is this our closet? Can't even use it. Can you imagine living in a bedroom with like no floor? You just got to be careful where you're stepping. Wake up wrong one day and break your ankle. This is my last message. You're on your own, but you'll find my older recordings around the area that might help you. My name is Vivian. 
Hi, Vivian. Can we go outside? I know you told me not to, but... So we're looking for Vivian's tapes. No flashlight, of course. Was Vivian in here with us? Project Newborn 18, Project Newborn 17. There appears to be a world outside. Okay, we can kind of run in this game. another bed there are no eyes the ones you had you gave up without knowing and then blindly we did what we were told but that tale is long forgotten even if you do understand it it's too late only one thing to do now TV screen is garrison don't go outside Never go outside. Okay, Five Nights at Freddy's, come on. Oh, there we go. Piles of money. We saw that in the bedroom. Tom Ledgerman's office. I'm assuming Ledgerman is the boss. Project Newborn 17 passed the simulation. Driven by instinct. Too much power. At least it's... alive. Side. That door is closed again. Where are we going now? Are we printing money? There we go.
complaint department is working really hard this week as the new project becomes a success. Everyone is so excited, but workers started seeing too many anomalies around the facility. Our complaint and security departments assure you that everything is just as planned and there is nothing that could cause such disturbances. It was merely a simulation and it was a great success. We received your complaints and again, we assure you that there are no such things as crazy holes in walls, duplicating objects, or an elevator. Most of you worked here for years. Our facility never had an elevator, but we appreciate your positivity about. They stop screaming. Eventually. Eventually. Just be patient. All right, so that doesn't do anything. I guess we have to go back downstairs. Is this the hole? that there might be a need to panic. I don't believe you. go down the hole. There we go. We're in Ledgerman's office now. Project Newborn 18, a human. Nothing more special than that. But still, it's a human. TV screen is garrison. Don't go outside. Never go outside. I 
thought that was going to be the ending. Why does newborn 17 get to go outside? Why can't I go outside? to right. More stairs. Yeah, I can't jump down. He's gonna get me. Or not. Okay, I don't get it. There's no need to panic. You the said exit that. is designed to keep everyone safe inside the facility. The gate cannot be opened from the inside. In case of an emergency, Die. Uh, I would prefer not to. Humans are curious creatures. If there's a way, even if it leads to the unknown danger or nowhere, sooner or later a human will go and see what's out there. opened monster okay let me run let me run we'll outrun all of our problems There is no world. There's no one out there for you. TV screen is garrison. Don't go outside. Never go outside. Hi, Vivian.
Now we're together, human. Now we can go outside. Now we can meet the sun. Congratulations! You've reached the shelter. The facility, the shelter, and the park combined is all that will keep you safe from the outside. The shelter can provide you with entertainment while you're waiting. Simply use the socket in the living room and enjoy the tunes. There's another socket for us. Go back. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Outside. You still couldn't get your eyes off of the screen. Drool for more, 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 more. Give me more addiction, more, more, more. No one is even alive anymore. But you're still being controlled. So easily. Glued your eyes to the screen like that will give you all the answers. You'll do anything but think for yourself. Even if you destroy the TV now, you'll still wonder what maybe that maybe that's what it wanted you to do. I thought we were going to meet the sun, not the moon. What's up, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location? Imagine there was meaning to you. Imagine you could have done something to save yourself. But instead you watched the bright colors on the screen. Imagine the world is still out there. And you choose to do nothing. Follow your addictions. Forget your dreams. Waiting to die. Imagine building your garrison around you forever.
Let there be light. Garrison Broadcast, created by Vitus Games, Vitus, Mr. Tim Moore, voiced by Quirky. So yeah, Vitus has gotten really into like very cool um, surreal games uh, recently, which has been really, really interesting to see. Um, they really like their, their shiny like surfaces, their shiny roads and all that stuff. Um, it's been interesting to see this one in particular. I think that the, the railing against the TV at the end was kind of, um, out of place. I feel like it would have been better if like there was, um, uh, if the TV led you through the game, like giving you instructions kind of the way that it does. Uh, but towards the end, it starts giving you like worse instructions. So you get like a choice to go right or left. And it tells you to go left when we're really you should be going right. Um, or you get a, a choice to jump down a hole or cross a bridge and it, it tells you to cross the bridge, but instead you need to jump down the hole. Uh, I think that those would be really cool interactions. Um, you kind of just like uh there's this problem with video games ludo narrative dissonance where like you you have a um uh, a violent game where you're like you're you're shooting people all through the game and then you get to the end and then the lesson is that shooting people is bad and it's like well you created the people and gave me the gun in order to shoot the people in the game uh and now you're telling me that i'm bad for shooting the people in the game uh, th- it's been talked about extensively. Um, this one kind of felt the same way where like you gave me the TV, you gave me the instructions to follow. I followed the instructions for your game. And then you got mad at me for doing that. Um, so a little bit of Ludo narrative dissonance. Um, I wonder if, uh, it could have been, um, alleviated if there were more choices towards the end of the game. A lot of the choices during the game are like, just do you go down the hallway? Do you go from point A to point B? Um, More choices, like more branching paths would be a lot cooler. Um, And then it would give that, that like railing at the end a a little bit more weight. So, yeah. Is this the last game? Explore the mysterious facility while satiating strange forces. Whatever you do, do not open the door that knocks. Loading, loading, loading. There we go. Wazda, interact, pick up, left click, drop item, Q. All right, we are in. What have we got here? Can't do anything with this. All right. Looks like there's a viewing room from the top. Let's go downstairs first and then we'll try up top. Uh, we have a crown and a sword and a scale. Are we playing Baldur's Gate? Uh, excuse me. Men, you must heed our warning box. Do not enter the door that knocks. <laughs> 
Do not answer the door of the knocks. Second sanctuary. Freely given, your gifts we must obtain. To overcome our adversary. Send them down within the box, but do not answer the door that knocks. Your sacrifice will make us strong until again we stand, then with you we will belong, and our salvation will be at end. Still in our shadows he does stalk. Do not answer the door that knocks. Let me hear the blackened voice of whom we can no longer flee. To be one of an intended choice, for our love and yours we flee. Do not answer the door that knocks, for all fate is tied to this single talk. Um... So let's not answer the door that knocks. Uh, resident, Leviathan, uh, Scale, Starving Child, Torch, uh, Machine, Price, Crown, Vigilant, Soldier... Soldier sword. So the gifts are the things downstairs. How do we know what is what? Uh, target vigilant soldier. The sword. this does uh, let's go get the sword Which of these is Vigilant Soldier, though? Do we put it on this thing? Guess not. reminds me of those uh, Mike Klibnika games where it's like you should do this task but I'm not going to give you any in information about the, the task itself you should just do it Tribute loaded. How do we set the coordinates now? Oh. 
Uh, let's try 1047. 1047. 1397. And then 247. That one's already set. Okay. Is this the right one? Did I do it right? Leviathan. Scales. A staple hilt, a balanced blade, a useful tool indeed. Soon we will commence our raid, and all shall surely indeed. Our wrath has been kept in store. To wage this righteous war. Alright. Uh, Leviathan scales. Do not answer the door that knocks. Coordinates for Leviathan. Um, is it the water? 262. Uh, 698. Um, 247. Can these be wrong? 523. 698, 247. Okay, so they can be wrong. you guys doing hope you're staying cool it has been way too hot for me the um the washington states uh fall and winter really spoil me because it's just like constantly in the 60s and 70s and it feels so good uh, and then the summer, it's really not that hot. It's only getting up to like the nineties, uh, but it feels awful. I saw on my Facebook memories, uh, when I lived in, um, a fine set of balanced scales. Essential to fair trade. 
We shall fix the sails, and the poor shall be betrayed. Just to increase our force, soon we strike against the source. I don't remember what the starving child wanted. Torch. I saw in my Facebook memories that when I lived in Louisiana, it was 118 on this day, um, several years ago. Um, so at least it's not 118 now, but it's still way too hot for me. I talked with a recruiter the other day about going to Japan. Um, starving child. Uh, 523. 698. 247. Alright. Are you the starving child? No, thank you. Uh, crown. Our humble hut. We shall finish this eternal reign. And so I'll be yet. Continue on. Go around. Come back with a warrant. Tribute loaded. So I'm wondering if I should go to Japan next year. Uh, coordinates, uh, 1047. One seventy five nine eighty eight. Initiate lower. Dragon. Our 
your mighty princess. Now his strength is free. False kings shall be brought down. And I shall bend the knee. Soon he will lose his bow. And then the struggle with our show. I don't know if I trust these guys. A uh, dragon. Aren't we out of things though? Oh. Hello there. Uh, Q. Uh, 131. Uh, 349. Um, 494. Coordinate set. I think it's really funny that there's just a giant door there. He could easily just go around. My question is, why is there still a door here? Uh, initiate. Have broken free. Can't Our flanks move to thee. The enemy has surely route. His destination we won't ask. For now there is no doubt that we shall complete our task. For the trumpet's soul will sound. For all of them to hear, your souls we will astound. You shall not hide your fear. Now you will find out. The hours for the Whoopsie. Ending one of two, Armageddon. Uh, so let's go back through that and open the door this time. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. A uh, vigilant soldier. It's a sword. Men, you must eat our warning box. Do not answer the door that knocks. We come to you for soon and shame. Seek sanctuary. Freely given your gifts we must obtain. Come on. These jerks haven't even finished talking yet. Do not answer the door that knocks, for all fate is tied to this single talk. Uh ten forty seven. Uh, 1397. And then 247. Is this our first day on the job?
Okay, we open the door that knocks. Um, what is it? Leviathan? Scales? Here, it's secured. You're a lot smaller than last time I saw you. Uh, coordinates for Leviathan, 262. Uh, um, 698. Uh, 247. Starving child is torch five twenty three uh, six ninety eight and then two forty seven coordinate set tribute loaded. Really? You don't say. Was that our shadow? Oh, that's kind of cool. Come on. Up the stairs. A uh, starving child initiates.
I don't I don't think that that child is starving. I think that child was dead. What? There's more of them. Look at that. We've got a whole Death Stranding crew over there. Uh, Machine Prince was Crown. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. They'd be chilling with us. Hello? The, um... Opening and closing the, the shoot thing. The carriage, that's uh, a little bit janky. Alright, uh, coordinates was, uh, 1047, uh, 175, uh, 988, initiate, let it down. Can't see anything. Ah, there we go. Friend? Friend shape? Friend? You don't look friend shape. Uh, I can't move anymore. Ending one of two, damnation. So, uh, we only get the choice to either uh, destroy the world or damn our souls. Interesting. All right, let's quit that. Uh, I believe that that was the last game. Um, I enjoyed it. It was quite, quite simple. Um, was that the um, the protagonist like first day on the job? Because... Uh, would have benefited if there was like information about the protagonist. Uh, we did the garrison broadcast. Uh, it would have benefited if there was information about the protagonist, like who are they? Um, what kind of person are they? Uh, is there anything that they keep in their bedroom there? It looked like they were supposed to be there for quite a while. Um, all that like flavor you could have added to the bedroom um with the uh the two endings i thought that um it was really cool how the uh uh it was really cool how the um the uh creatures changed and the um 
the the way that the world changed around you as you were going through uh, the thing changed a lot. Uh, so in the first one I went through, I didn't uh, open the door. I did it the way that the game told me to. Um, and it, it had the, the door uh, moving around being the scare. Um, and then the the uh, the big door floating in the sky with the um, the thing behind it, the creature behind it, uh, that was really cool. Uh, and then in the second one, having the the multiple like smaller versions of the creature uh, floating around, like uh, and then that one shadow that it casted uh, behind me on the wall, uh, that was really cool. Um, so the the little changes were really cool, and it's cool how there are essentially two different paths through the game. Um, so I like that there were diff uh, essentially two different paths through the game. Uh, I like that the scares changed and I like that there was like a lot of, uh, really subtle details like that shadow on the wall. Um, if I were going to do it, I don't know if I would do anything differently. Um, I think the like the big thing is just like adding details about the protagonists. Like who are they? What are they like? Um, uh, uh, what, what's his name? H bomber guy. H bomber guy has that, uh, that video about, um, the killing joke where like, uh, you get a glimpse of the secretary, uh, and you just see her desk and her desk has all of these little personal things that let us as the reader, uh, know what kind of person she is. Um, it doesn't have to be like expressly told out. Like you don't have to say the protagonist is this person. They graduated from this college. Uh, they've been studying this. Uh, they worked in this. Like um, you don't have to say all of that, but give like little hints about who they are. Maybe a poster or a calendar or something like that, that clues in uh, the player uh, to who the, the protagonist is and what kind of person they are. Um, yeah, we did that one. I believe we did all the ones up here. We did that one. We did that one. Okay, so I believe that we are done. I don't see any way out of the, um, the house. Uh, and we have played all of the games. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw you over to future Andrew, and we can do an outro for the 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 series. Um, yeah. Hey guys, this is future Andrew. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the um, the Forgotten Tapes Analog Nightmares. Uh, I'm going to go through and cut them up now, so I don't know how many video videos this is going to be, but if you are someone who has watched through from start to finish, thank you for sticking it out. Um, yeah, thank you as always for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Good night.